Hey, everybody. We are live at Pay Studios right now with J.P. Sachs. J.P., it's great to see you again, man. I'm glad we're doing this. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Before too long, we will have hosted you in every single one of the rooms that we have, have access to here. We had you in the TV production studio last time, and uh, here we are in the tape room now. So thanks for making it happen. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, we are looking forward to sharing everything that you have to offer with the internet audience right now. Can you tell us what's coming up first? Yeah, I'm going to uh, play a song called Changed. All right. <laughs> city's home Looking for the parts of me it didn't get to know And I know myself a little more the more I let you go I've been calling different cities home but only on the days my hands are cold Cause I fell for you that morning in the snow And here in California You're not on my mind much more Only on the days my hands are cold you like to tell me I changed Like anybody really stays the same You like to tell me I changed Like anybody really stays the same You're a bigger part of me than I admit And I hate that my whole family's Gotta ask me how you've been You know me better than I wish you did You like to tell me I changed Nobody really stays the same You like to tell me I changed Like anybody really stays the same Oh to explain why accepting love is hard for me some days yeah I still got some habits that she's helping me to break oh now that you're just something to explain Oh, you like 
stays the same You like to tell me I changed Like anybody really stays Like anybody really stays Like anybody really stays the same Thank you. Thank you, man. It sounds great. I like that song a lot. Um, can we talk a little bit about, it just seems like the the most conducive room of all the rooms that we have access to, to talk a little bit about the the musical influences, either, uh, either that you grew up with or uh, uh, what you were listening to recently while you're writing this batch of songs that you're playing for us today. Um, yeah. I mean, my biggest musical influence was my grandfather, who was um, a classical cellist. Right. He was Janos Starker and... He was uh, both musically and philosophically a, a huge influence just on the way I think, the way I think about art, life, my values, kind of across the board. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, um, he's, that's, is he, a, is he with us still? Is he around? He's not. No. Um, did you start with cello by any chance? Or did you, I played cello you always... for like a year and a bit when I was like 11. Yeah. But it was very intimidating. It was better, it was safer to go into like the pop world. Not as much of a shadow where no one's heard of them. Right. And the instrument's like half the size. Yeah. I am playing like a little bit of a cello looking guitar right now though. Yeah. Thanks for sharing it with and me. And I think that's that's the um Dave Rollins plays the the actual nineteen thirty one of those that that yeah. is the, that one's modeled after. Um well the first song sounded great. Can you tell us what you're gonna do second? Yeah, I'm gonna play a song called Twenty Five in Barcelona. And it's about um how I went to Barcelona for my 25th birthday. I wrote it the day after my birthday. Dude, we are stoked to hear uh, the, uh, the the redone version of this. And then, uh, thank, thank you. We can maybe talk about ducks again if you want to. If anybody uh, is not familiar with the first session, we, we heard 25 in Barcelona uh, four months ago, maybe. I don't know. You came, like in, that. came in and did one version of it, which was which was outstanding, and it's going to be interesting for us to see the the evolution of of this song. Thanks, and, man. Thanks for having me back, going through the, the journey with me. Absolutely, love to hear it. Let's do it. All right. I thought you would have called yesterday. I said I didn't want you to, but I still thought you would. I don't know what I expected you to say But I turned 25 and that in my mind You'd be part of that in some way I'm halfway around the world with all these people Happy in a foreign language But they don't know a thing about you I'm halfway around the world in Barcelona Trying not to think you'd love this This wasn't supposed to be about you This wasn't supposed to be about you mm-hmm. I wonder how I crossed your mind Sure I did, but I'm curious what the thought of me felt like Was it harder than you imagined it would be? Cause when I missed your 30th, it almost fucking killed me I'm halfway around the world with all these people Happy in a foreign language, but they don't know a thing about you Barcelona Singing songs to you for strangers And trying not to think about you This wasn't supposed to be about you This wasn't supposed to be about you Happy in a 
foreign language But they don't know a thing about you I'm halfway around the world in Barcelona Trying to feel my world expanding Like none of it was built around you This wasn't supposed to be about you This wasn't supposed to be about you This wasn't supposed to be about you Thank you, um, man. When you uh, when you play that song live, when you're playing that uh, on stage, are you able to? Is it that delicate? I mean, is your voice that dynamic on stage? Are you getting that quiet and and that loud, or is it more of a? Is it that quiet because we're here in a in a library? No, I'm pretty sure it's like intimate and and gentle, regardless of the scenario. Yeah, and all and translates that way in the live setting as well. I mean, just in life generally, intimate and gentle. It's like my thing. Yeah. Well, you are pulling it off in spades. I like it a lot. Um, um, can we talk a little bit about what do you, when you, you're playing uh boot and saddle in Philly yeah. tomorrow night, you're going to be, I've never even been there. Really? Yeah. There's a statue of a boxer there. Um, you street music hall in DC on mm-hmm. Saturday. Um, when, when people come out to see, are you, are you doing this tour solo or do yep. people, is there, yep. It's just me. Nice. Some stories, some songs. Good. Me being a dork on stage. Nice. That sounds like a ton of fun. It's basically what I'm doing here, just with more people clapping afterwards. Yeah. And not as cool a background. Um, can we? So the the song that you're about to play right now. Yeah. Um, can you? So I know. I recall you last time you told me something about the the history of this music video and about how life imitated art, and there are all sorts of overlapping uh, storylines that went into the the creation of this thing, and then coincidentally happened afterwards. Can you tell us about about the video and uh, how it relates to the song as well. Sure, I mean the the video is sort of a. I wanted to I wanted it to feel like. How in depth those conversations can be and how they usually don't happen all at once, like navigating the insecurities of being in a loving relationship where you want, you want someone to be truthful with you and you want to give someone like the love that you have for them, but maybe it doesn't really fit with your personality to be the most like giving all of the time in the most just upfront emotionally, which is sort of how I used to be. But over the last year, I've definitely like become more of a vulnerable, honest mess rather than like a self-contained introvert like I was for most of my life. And part of that is like singing these songs for a living. But back to your question, uh, the video was like two of my friends, uh, Anthony Ramos and Dina Shahabi, who um, sort of act out that day, that conversation sort of happening from morning till night and the tension of it, the love in it, the frustration in it. And we happened to shoot the video and which I co-directed with Dina like two days after the relationship the song was about ended, which was uh, fun. I think that's what you're referring to. It was like uh, that I told you how it sort of intersected with my life. I don't say what's on my mind quite as much as you'd like me to I've been hearing that my whole life, I promise it's not just you But I so confidently want you That when you say you're insecure about my feelings, I don't take you serious But if you need me to tell you more You're one of the few things that I'm sure of You're one of the few things that I know already I could build my world up One of the few things that I'm sure of And I want you to unravel me Come closer, come closer Come closer, come closer 
I don't say what's on my mind quite as much as you'd like me to. And often when I'm quiet, you worry I'm hiding from you. And I know I keep a lie to myself, but still you're more a part of me than anybody else. So if you need me to tell you more, you're one of the few things that I'm sure of. You're one of the few things that I know already. I could build my world of one of the few things that I'm sure of. And I want you to unravel me. Come closer, come closer. Come closer, come closer. Man, thank you very much for doing this. It's great to see you as always. Uh, Hopefully, maybe we, next time we cross paths is in in the uh, we got a log cabin studio downstairs, so that'll be the, uh, the 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 next setting that we cross paths in. And uh, man, have a great show at um, at Boot and Saddle tomorrow night. Great show on Saturday at U Street Music in DC. And uh, um, dude, thanks again for doing this, man. We appreciate it. Me. All right.